Our Colorado landscape is constantly changing these days. Neighbors near Loretto Heights in Denver wanted development, but the changes are not exactly what they hoped for. At Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez spoke with protesters who just want to keep the campus beauty intact. Loretto Heights historic building dates back to the late 1800s. About a month ago, Denver City Council approved a bill for final consideration to move forward with redevelopment of the land. And that was only after an exhaustive um, process. Mark Wakevich is the project manager for the Loretto Heights redevelopment. He says after the property was purchased three years ago, they, along with the city, went through comprehensive community outreach, including monthly meetings. Thousands of flyers um, that were sent out and put in mailboxes and on doors. Flyers were sent home with the public school school children. It was written in both English and in Spanish. Still, some neighbors say they only found out recently and gathered to grief after seeing the trees in front of the property were cut down. I cried when I saw all the trees cut down. I just started this two weeks ago and I know that there was a long process involved, but I, I do think that there's got to be a way that we can care for nature and for trees, along with providing affordable housing to people that we need. This group of concerned neighbors says they don't have anything against the developer and their plans to turn the area into a mixed use development with commercial, residential and affordable housing. They'd just like to see future projects consider keeping mature trees. Well, we're just responding to the emotions in the neighborhood and we wanted to give people a voice. And even though some of the trees had grown old, the plan is to bring in even more trees than what was cut down. We do believe in an urban uh, canopy and as a result, you know, we will be planting, you know, well over a thousand new trees on this site. Developers say they've asked for community input from the start and plan on continuing to do so moving forward, especially now that change is visible. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.